on the wives of the Vedic Brahmins. So one time Sri Guru Maharaj asked how we can develop a relation with Krishna. We never met him. So the easiest way, and the actually the only way, to develop a relationship with Krishna is to hear from him, hear about Krishna from those who have a relationship. Therefore, Mathura and Vrindavan, even though they seem very close, actually they're millions and millions of miles apart. Because in Vrindavan, the devotees, they think, they do not think that Krishna is Bhagavan. They think Krishna is my Moraputra, Morasaka, Morapranapati. Krishna is my friend, Krishna is my son, or Krishna is my most beloved like the gopis. So sometimes, to give good fortune to others, and on the excuse of selling yogurt or butter or ghee, Rajabhasis move here and there to the district, to the city of Mathura. So every year, in the month of October, November, we visit all these places, and we hear from Gurudev and the devotees, what happened there? So those wives of the Vedic Brahmanas, they used to come in contact with the Brijbasas, the residents of Vrindavan. And from them they heard the sweetness of Krishna's form. His unlimited good qualities, his beauty, and they became attracted to him. So their husbands were performing Vedic rituals for the achievement of the heavenly planets. This is called karma. Perform religiosity to get some material benefit in this life and the next life is not pure devotion. So as they are chanting swaha, swaha, they had material desires. So Krishna and his friends were nearby cow grazing. So Krishna called the boys, you go there and you beg on behalf of myself and Balaram some charity. Means give us something to eat. So the boys went to those Vedic Brahmanas who were very proud of their learning. And they said, not in the name of Krishna, because they're thinking Krishna is a coward boy, a little bit low caste. But Balaram, his father, is, he is in a chapter like a king, royal family, a little bit. So they said, oh, Brahmanas, you know the essence of all religion. You are perfectly sense controlled. And you are Bhusura, the moving gods on this earth planet. Because you know everything, then we are requesting on behalf of the Supreme Lord Krishna and Balaram some charity. Please give us some foodstuffs. So when the boys, coward boys, actually these coward boys are eternally liberated souls. They don't even know this material world exists. They have completely spiritual bodies just as Krishna has a spiritual body. But those Brahmins could not understand the position of the eternal servants of Krishna. Just like myself and probably most of us in the audience. We are seeing Gurudev. What are we seeing? Are we seeing that he is an eternal liberated soul who never forgets Krishna even for a moment? We cannot see him properly because our eyes are material, that we have no power of proper perception. Who is the spiritual master? So those Vedic Brahmanas who were materialistic, they could not understand the position of these boys. What to speak of the position of Krishna and Balram. The boys asked again and again, give us some charity, give us some charity. But nothing, the Brahmanas did not even answer them because they were too much proud. Therefore, the boys came back very sad. Krishna, we could not get anything. Then Krishna smiled. Oh, boys, don't worry. This is the result. Some, when you beg, sometimes you get something. Sometimes you don't get anything. This time you go again, but don't go to the proud Brahmanas. You should go to the wives of those Brahmanas. Why? Because their minds are constantly attached to me. Because they're always hearing about me. They're soft-hearted. Uh, they're very soft-hearted. Therefore, the boys went again to those wives. Oh, ladies. Mothers, please be kind. We have come to collect food donations in the name of Krishna and Balaram. So when those ladies heard Krishna and Balaram have come nearby, they became full of ecstasy and they felt the embrace of Krishna from that moment. Immediately they loaded all their pots and vessels and everything full of different types of rice, sabji, paneers, everyone feeling hungry? <laughs> so many types of sweets, this, that, this, that. They carried on their heads and they went directly to Krishna. Their husbands tried to stop. Hey, hey, where are you going? That's all meant for us. Like Guru Mahaj said, foolish persons in this world, they think this world is for my enjoyment. They don't understand this world is for actually Krishna's enjoyment. Therefore foolishness, no? But the wife did not hear the words of their husbands. They went to where Krishna was there. So Krishna was resting his hand, left hand on the shoulder of a friend. And in his other hand, he was twirling a lotus. 
Guru Maharaj said that means he was really churning the hearts of those ladies. Such unprecedented beauty. Those ladies took Krishna through their eyes and into their hearts and embraced him happily. So Krishna is very tricky and difficult to catch. Guru Maharaj said we should not think Krishna is a what you know, a five rand chocolate bar buck. <laughs> to get him you have to have no other goal. Therefore, when the, these ladies, these brahmanas, brahmanis approached Krishna, Krishna used the same words he used for the Brajagopis. Oh, welcome, ladies, I wish all good fortune to you. You should not stay here, because a woman who abandons the service of her husband will definitely go to hell. She cannot achieve any good results in this world or the next world. So when Krishna said these words to the Nagapapni, uh, sorry, the Brahmin Yagapapis, then they began weeping. Oh Krishna, you should not be like this. We have given up everything for your service. So we cannot hope to get the position like the gopis to be your beloveds. But we want to become your maidservants, like the leaves of Tulsi that are situated on your feet. We cannot go back to our homes because our husbands have rejected us. Then they gave so many arguments, but Krishna said, don't worry. You follow my instruction, you will get all good fortune. Attraction to me cannot be achieved simply by being near me. Attraction to commit to me can be achieved by hearing about me, chanting about me, and remembering. So those wives returned back to their husbands. They're completely satisfied. So when Krishna said the same thing to the gopis, the gopis did not return. But the wives of the brahmanis returned. So there's one history. Why? Because the gopis had nothing to return to. But the Yagyapatis, maybe they had some attachment. Therefore, they were immature. So Krishna sent them back. There's one story. There was one Spaniard, his name was Cortes. You know, he went to Mexico and conquered Mexico. You know why he was so successful? He came with five boats full of soldiers and horses and guns and everything. So when he got to Mexico, all the soldiers and everyone got out of the boat. Then he burned the boats to ashes because there's no way they could return. That's why they were so, so successful because they had a one-way ticket. They were the gopis, when they came to Krishna, they came with a one-way ticket, nothing to go back to. So Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakra said, when we come to Gurudev, we should also come with a one-way ticket. Means, I have seen everything in this world, nothing to look back to. This is the mood that we should come when we come to Gurudev, when we come to Krishna. So, when those wives came back, their hearts were full of ecstasy. And when the husbands saw their wives' good fortune, then they lamented bitterly. I what did I say? That verse, man, can you remember? Oh. Oh, can you see? Yeah, I cannot remember. Now. No, when those Brahmanas, when they saw the good fortune of their wives, then they lamented. Hey, dig, huh? Dig jan miyastatu, dig tritvi, dig gyatram, dig bahu gyatram, dig kriya, dig bahu gyatram, vimukta teye adoxogen. Alas, our knowledge is useless. Our performance of Vedic sacrifice is useless. Our performance of austerities is useless. Our knowledge of the Vedas is completely useless. Why? Vimukta yete adoxate. Because it did not bring us to the service of Krishna. But our wives, they are impure, unclean. They never learned from the Guru. They never studied the Vedas. They never chanted mantras. They never did anything. But they achieved the perfection of service to Krishna. Therefore, those Brahmanas criticized themselves. Uh, because of our pride, we could not approach the service of Krishna. But our wives, who are less qualified than us, achieved perfection because they went to Krishna with a simple heart. So those Brahmanas were very afraid. They wanted to go and apologize to Bhagawan for their offense for not feeding him. But they were too afraid of Kamsa, therefore they did not go. So last thing Guru Maharaj says, why Krishna did not accept those wives, and but why he accepted the gopis? Because Bhagawan, he never acts against, he, Sri Krishna never performs any activity which is improper. There were how Krishna mixed with the wives of the Brahmanas. For that reason, Krishna neglected. Also, Ateva Gopigan, therefore, Radha Anagata Bina Aiswari Gan Napai Braja Brajanandam. Unless one accepts the guidance of Srimadhi Radhika, he cannot achieve Krishna, he cannot achieve Vrindavan. So, ladies and gentlemen, don't be proud. I have so much wealth, I am so learned, I am this and that. Why should I serve Krishna? One should give up all false ego, take shelter of Guru, and under the guidance of Guru, one should chant the holy name. Hare Krishna.
you can see <coughs> how high class of bhakti was in Jagya Patni. He accepted gopis and they are telling that we have given up our husband, householding, everything. We cannot go from your lotus feet. We want to be a maid servant. The maid servant of your most beloved gopis. But Krishna did mercy to them. I think in the future birth they will be gopi and Krishna will accept them. If you want bhakti, then follow Sijagya Patnis. Now we are finishing our classes. But those who have taken Harinam Diksha, all they will take, they should remember one thing. Essence of all the instruction of Rupa Goswami. Tannam Rupa Charitadi Sukratana Krame Arasana Manasi Yajya Tishtham Praje Tadam Raji Jana Gami Kalam Nayeti Khilam Kutpadesh Sahara Tannam Rupa Charitadi what name? Govinda Dabo Dharma Tadeti Govinda Dabo Dharma Tadeti This name is Rashtihari Radha Kanta Gopi Kanta Murli Dhar These names, supreme names of the Krishna Tannama Rupa, how beautiful Krishna is. Varaha Pidam Natavarabapu Karnayo Karnikaram Vipradabhasam Kankakamisam Bhajayanti Chamalam Randhan Venu Radar Sudhaya Purayan Gopa Vindai Vrindarannam Sapataramanam Prapishatati Tadiriti How beautiful! This is taking on floor. And what playing? Gopi, Gopi, Radhe, Radhe. These names are uttering through pronunciation. Sometimes Shamli, Dhavali, Kavali, Kali, Shamla. Name of the cows. But he is calling not cows, Shamla. Gopi. Gopi. <laughs> so, Radhe Radhe, these names, Tannam Roop. Uh, he has taken Bajan Kiva. Very beautiful form. I think that the whole world's beauty will be combined together in a place, even it cannot touch the feet of Krishna beauty. Hmm? Also, Kasturi tilakam lalata patale pastak chale kaustubham Nasakre varmutatam karatale deu kare kankara Sarbande harichandanam sulalitam kanthe chamukta vali Gopi Sri Parimeshito Vijayate Gopal Chuda Mani. How beautiful. Mani Gopi Khan. Gopi Khan. 
taste the sweet sweetness of Krishna name Ru Charitadi. Oh Charitadi, how? Hmm? Ras Lila. Why Krishna called in Bansi, Rade, Shyamle, Lalite, Vishake, Chamde? And they all left their house thing. Some were decorating themselves. They gave anjan in one in one night. Run away. Those who cook, were cooking, oh, at once left them burning and then run away. Somewhere distributing prasadam to their husband. Oh, <laughs> left them. Some in one eye took anjan. Run away. Some they place here or they take here. So being upset, those who have half wearing, now they are wearing clothes, or oh, left there and dragging their clothes on the ground and they <laughs> Oh, this charit. Tanna marup charita de sukrtana. These very sweet names, very beautiful form, his activities, Rash and other Hawaii Rash, to clarify to those whole world that my most, most beloved are gopis. And in all, all the gopis, only Radha is topmost. Only to prove this, he made Ras. In the ways, Tannam Rupa Chattadi Sukhatanan, by mouth turn, doing Kirtan, and by mind, Huh? Remember. Remember. Remember all the sweet pastimes of Krishna and doing kirtan of all these things. Being in Vrindavan only, only in Vrindavan. If you cannot be in Vrindavan, then you think from anywhere from Johannesburg, I am in Vrindavan. Jamna is flowing. Bansi Bhatt is here. Here last was done. Here is Giriraj Govardhan. Eh? Krishna did Ras and so many things there. Oh, here is Radha Kunda, Shyam Kunda, Giriraj Govardhan, Mansi Ganga and all. Thinking, remembering all things that I am in this Vrindavan, whether you are in Johannesburg. And Amarup Chaita Bisukata Nanu Karmena Rasana Manasi Yodya Tishan Brajit Tadan Gadi or don't be there free being the guidance of any very rasik tatvadya poisna. Anu always, 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 always. And here see past times of all the Krishna. Here the how beautiful Krishna form, how we Lila Charitra. Oh, this is the essence of all the instruction. One thing more. Ghost Guru Goste Gostale. Sujane Bhusur Gane, Samantre, Sornamni, Brijatuva Tandra Sarane, Sadadambham, Hitvakurum, Ratim Apurva, Atitaram, means you should always have so much rati, affection to Guru. 
गुरु एंड दीक्षा गुरु एंड शिक्षा गुरु रति मोर देन श्रद्धा मोर देन आसक्ति देन रति दैट रति शुड कम इन दीज थिंग्स गुरु गोष्ठे वेर कृष्ण लिप्स ऑल विल रिमेंबर नंदगांव गोकुल वृंदावन एवरीवेयर सराउंडेड बाई गोपीज एंड गोप्स काउ हॉर्डिंग डूइंग रास एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स इन द वे दस दिस वे गुरु गोष्ठे एंड कृष्ण इज डूइंग सो मेनी पास टाइम्स इन गोष्ठ गोष्ठ आलयु दोज हू आर लिविंग देयर नंद बाबा जसोदा मैया गोप गोपी गाभी मयूर मृग मृग मिनिस्टर टी एस ऑल रिमेंबर एंड हैविंग सो मच अफेक्शन फॉर देम ना वट गुरु देव हैज गिवेन हरि नाम हरे कृष्ण शांत विथ स्ट्रॉन्ग फेथ दैट दिस इज कृष्ण नेम इज कृष्ण नेम एंड नेम एंड नाम इज बोथ आर सम इन दिस स्ट्रॉन्ग फेथ यू सो चैंट हरे कृष्ण this name stand fulfill all your desire what krishna can do more than that you should have faith so chant not less than 16 i think more than that it will save you from death and death and death swamantre swamantre oh diksha mantra daily three times <coughs> if in midday you cannot then in morning two times <coughs> one for morning one for midday 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 in this way daily you should have don't be weak otherwise you will be weak atap samantra braj dua dand sarani and radha krishna Hmm? thinking what na dharma na dharma sutma nirakta kalu no harm no religion no or religion against religion only radha and krishna you should serve in what way simati radhika is my ish today Yesterday, ha, ha, tira ka. And Krishna is most beloved of our Swami Ji, Radhika. In this way, don't direct go to Krishna. Sense gratification may come there also. So be careful for this. And thus. न धर्म न धर्म सुगन निरीक्षण करो ब्रजे राधा कृष्ण प्रचुर परिचर्चा शशि सन शशि नंदन गौधर ओ गुरु थिंकिंग हिज गुरु व्हाट ही हैज डन एंड व्हाट ही हैज गिवन इंस्ट्रक्शन विल हैव फॉलो एंड गुरुदेव कृष्ण प्रेस्ट वेन मस्ट बिलवेड ऑफ कृष्ण प्रसाद प्रसाद भगवत प्रसाद जस्या प्रसाद नगति दि गुरुदेव हुज प्रसाद इज एवरीथिंग हिज मर्सी विदाउट हिज मर्सी नथिंग इज देयर इन दिस वे इवन आई एम गोइंग टू नवद्वीप एंड वृंदावन 
but always think like this and practice like this, your life will be successful. Go Prema Mande. I am actually lost for words. We have been transferred back to the spiritual kingdom. Having heard from the lotus lips of Srila Gurudev and from the sannyasi gang present here today, all we've got to do basically is follow what Gurudev has instructed. And believe you me, all forms of suffering will come to an end immediately. The announcement that I've got to make on behalf of Gurudev is that tomorrow is a very, very important day as far as Diksha is concerned. An initiation is going to be given to those aspiring devotees and that will be conducted at 8.30 in the morning.